Hi, I'm Dr. Mohan Kumar, consultant uh, interventional cardiologist working at uh, Columbia Asia Hospital, Sarjapur Road. Angina pectoris, or in short, angina, is a term used to clinically describe a syndrome of uh, uh, retrosternal chest, chest discomfort caused by myocardial ischemia. Many of the patients uh, with uh, angina present with the retrosternal uh, chest discomfort uh, with this discomfort may be radiated to the neck, the shoulders and uh, epigastrium and back. Some instances the uh, patient may present with uh, the pain in these locations uh, in, without having a retrosternal chest discomfort. So a few patients uh, with uh, angina can also present uh, with uh, breathlessness on exertion, syncope and excessive perspiration. These, th these uh, we call it as uh, angina equivalent. We can classify angina into two, two types. One is a stable angina, another is an unstable angina. In the clinical picture of uh, both the stable angina and unstable angina, uh, presentation is always almost same, except uh, the severity of the symptoms are, and the, when the symptoms appear is different in both the groups. Uh, the stable angina is a condition wherein uh, patient uh, develop uh, these anginal symptoms after a fixed amount of uh, work or stress. Every time they do this amount of uh, fixed amount of work or stress, they develop uh, this sort of chest discomfort. When they take rest, the uh, chest discomfort goes off. Uh, what is the reason for this uh, uh, chest pain? Is this is a uh, angina is a actually a symptom of uh, uh, coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease means the blood vessels which supply blood to the heart, we call it as coronary arteries. There is a blockage in these coronary arteries by thromb uh, either uh, uh, blood clot or uh, because of the cholesterol deposition inside the inner layer of the blood vessels. So, uh, when uh, basically the angina, stable angina, happens because of the fixed blocks in the coronary arteries. They, whenever there is a uh, mismatch between the demand and supply, the patient will develop this sort of uh, chest discomfort. This uh, discomfort uh, will last for about uh, 2 to 5 minutes and uh, when they take rest, this uh, discomfort goes off. When the, in the stable angina, the patient will, have, uh, the, will develop this chest discomfort after doing certain amount of fixed work like if he is uh, climbing uh, one flight of stairs then he may develop a chest discomfort and if they take rest the chest discomfort goes up. Whenever uh, the patient uh, does this fixed amount of work like uh, climbing up stairs the heart needs to beat more uh, blood because the body's demand increases. So in order to meet the body's demand heart needs to work more uh, rigorously. So, when uh, since the heart is also a muscle, it also requires an uh, increased blood supply. If that blood supply is not adequately met by the blockages in the coronary arteries, patient will develop this uh, chest discomfort. And once uh, the patient takes rest, the heart rate slows down and the heart demand comes down. This uh, chest discomfort goes off. So, whenever the patient has got any symptoms which are related to the exertion, we need to consider in terms of angina. The unstable angina, the symptoms of uh, both unstable angina and unstable angina are almost same except the severity of uh, the presentation and uh, what causes uh, the chest discomfort will differentiate between stable and unstable angina. Unstable angina is a uh, life-threatening uh, uh, emergency, so it's identifying it is, a, is very Im important. The, in unstable angina, patient might develop uh, chest pain even at rest or even uh, at uh, minimal uh, uh, exertion. Unstable angina is more severe than the stable angina. So here the pathophysiology of uh, 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 unstable angina is the already whatever the plaque which is there inside the coronary arteries there will be a plaque rupture resulting in the thrombus formation so there is a sudden reduction in the blood supply to the heart muscle which results in uh, chest discomfort this chest discomfort in unstable angina might last for more than 10 minutes or so so identifying this unstable angina is very much important because if you don't identify and treat 
these patients can go in and develop a myocardial infarction or damage to the heart muscle.